Hello friends and welcome to the Architecture Enthusiast and to the Chrysler Building, a super tall skyscraper in New York City. It is the first super tall building built in the world. Super talls are defined as buildings higher than 1,000 feet. The Chrysler Building is considered by many New Yorkers as the most beautiful skyscraper in the city. The Chrysler Building stands 1,047 feet tall and has 77 floors. When the building was built in 1930, it surpassed the Eiffel Tower in Paris, becoming the tallest man-made structure in the world. Although nowadays the Chrysler Building is not as tall as a lot of skyscrapers around the world, the building is still the tallest building in the world that was built with bricks. The Chrysler Building was designed by New York architect William Van Allen the building is a leading example of Art Deco architecture. Buildings designed with this type of architectural style generally feature an overall shape in simple rectangular forms, but are also heavily decorated with many ornamental elements. Art Deco buildings are mostly built with traditional materials like bricks, concrete, and marble. The facade of the Chrysler Building is mostly clad with white brick and mixed with a small proportion of dark gray brickwork in window rows. It's used as horizontal decoration to enhance the building's window rows. The building has a total of 3,862 windows. The Chrysler Building was specifically designed for the Chrysler Corporation. There are many elements of the building meant to be a subtle nod to the car manufacturer. For instance, the building's spire was inspired by a car radiator grill. And one of the most famous features on Chrysler Building is the eagle gargoyle sculptures found on eight corners below the building's crown. These eagle gargoyles were inspired by the hood ornaments on Chrysler cars. The most recognized feature of the Chrysler Building is its terrace crown. Each of four faces of the crown is composed of seven radiating terrace arches. Each arch is mounted up behind another arch at a lower position, and each arch has a certain number of triangular form windows radiating from the below terrace. The building is shaped like a pointed needle with a decreasing diameter on top. Inside the building, the walls are coated with red Moroccan marble and the floors of Siena colored. The building is a classic portrayal of Art Deco style, starting from its streets to its terrace. It was chosen as America's most favorite architecture by the American Institute of Architects. The Chrysler Building in New York holds a special position in the world of construction because of its uniqueness in design and symbolism. Rich materials, a characteristic feature of the Art Deco style, enhance the spatial effects and enrich the experience of entry. The walls of the entrance lobbies and main concourse as well as the octagonal piers are faced with a type of red Moroccan marble. The marble is distinguished by variegated markings in tones of buff. Vertically placed panels of polished Mexican onyx are placed in a step pattern above the elevator halls and the three street entrances. On the ceiling spanning the main concourse and the entrance lobby has a large mural by artist Edward Trumbull. The use of such murals was a favorite device of Art Deco designers. In addition to heightening the dramatic effect and enriching the experience of interior spaces, it is a means of achieving the Art Deco ideal of the unity of design. The mural in the Chrysler Building depicts the vision, human energy, and engineering ability which made possible the structure. All features of the ground floor interior combine together to create one of the great Art Deco spaces in the city and country. The elements of the design and the rich materials are not only characteristic of the Art Deco style, but are also some of the finest examples of their type. 